Good evening and welcome to Christ the King Catholic Secondary School's Advanced Placement Program Information Session for parents of students currently in Grade 8. My name is Linda Triantafilu and I'm the principal of Christ the King Catholic Secondary School. We are delighted that you're able to join us for this virtual presentation of our Advanced Placement Program. Tonight, members of our school staff will provide a detailed overview of the AP program so that you can make an informed decision for your child for the next academic school year. I will be sharing a little bit about our school's culture and community and the range of programs and opportunities available to all students at Christ the King. During this evening's presentation, you will also hear from Ms. Melissa Giordina, Vice Principal and AP Coordinator, Ms. Melanie Fatar, our Student Services Department Head, and Ms. Ivana Locke, our AP Guidance Counselor. As with all school events, we will pause and take a moment to begin the evening with prayer. I would now like to invite Mrs. Mary Lazowski, our chaplaincy leader, to lead us in prayer and in the honoring of the land. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving God, our Creator, our friend, our companion, bless our journey of learning, refresh our souls, and renew our spirits. Lead us in the paths of wisdom, compassion, and understanding. Bless us with an enduring love of learning. May the Holy Spirit flow freely through the classrooms and halls of our school, through the rooms and gardens of our homes and workplaces. Together in his name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Halton as we know it today is rich in the history and modern traditions of the many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Atawaran, the Haudenosaunee, and the Métis. These lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather together on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honour and respect the four directions, land, water, plants, animals, and ancestors that walk before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. Thank you, Mrs. Lazowski. The agenda for this evening's presentation is shown here on the screen. An in-depth overview of the AP program and its alignment with the Ontario curriculum will be provided to you this evening. We will also outline the benefits of the AP program for post-secondary opportunities. You will hear from current AP students in the Halton Catholic District School Board who will offer their experiences and unique insights. In addition, our presenters will outline the preparatory steps required for entrance to the AP program at Christ the King. We will be speaking to the application process so that you have all the tools necessary to make the best decision for your child. Following the presentation, we will provide a form through which you can ask any additional questions you may have, and a member of our staff will contact you in the coming days to address and answer your specific questions. Christ the King Catholic Secondary School is located at 161 Guelph Street in Georgetown, and our catchment includes the areas of both Georgetown and Acton. We are a distinctly Catholic community. We aim to create and nurture strong homeschool parish relationships. We believe the school is the extension of the family and the church, and we are all partners in the education of your children as we work for their best interests, academically, spiritually, socially, and emotionally. We value the input and voice of our student body by providing a wide range of student leadership opportunities, from student government to mentorship to social justice. We understand the importance of developing young leaders, not just for the present during our students' time here in high school, but for the future as they take their next steps after high school. Christ the King has a rich tradition of high academic standards. Students can choose from a variety of courses, programs, and pathways that align with their post-secondary interests. As a school community, we support students on their educational journey, and we're all committed to creating conditions for success for all of our students. Our extracurricular activities and events, namely our leadership groups, clubs, athletic teams, and arts groups, are wide-ranging and highly subscribed to by our students. At Christ the King, there is something for everybody. 
Students are strongly encouraged to get involved, thereby enhancing their high school experience. To learn more about Christ the King and the range of offerings and supports for our grade nine students, please tune in next Thursday for our grade eight parent information night. The link to this virtual presentation will be posted on our website this time next week. And now moving along to our AP program, I would like to introduce Ms. Melissa Jardina, Vice Principal at Christ the King and AP Coordinator, who will lead you through our Advanced Placement Program information. What is Advanced Placement? Well, AP courses offer university level content to students at the grade 12 level. AP and AP prep courses provide topics and material that are studied in greater depth, enrich learning that goes beyond the facts and figures, there's rich course material and thought-provoking classroom discussion. There are demanding assignments and the development of knowledge and enhanced critical thinking skills. Although we're not there yet, the Grade 12 AP program at Christ the King has the following courses and AP exams that we're planning to offer. English Literature and Composition, Geography, History, Physics, chemistry, biology, and calculus. What is AP preparation? Well, AP prep courses are an advanced series of courses that are designed to be a rigorous preparation for the AP courses and the exams that will run in grade 12. These courses also prepare students for success in university. The intent is that they're challenging, but that the benefits to these students are well worth it. The Grade 9 AP Prep Program here at CTK starts with the following courses. There's a pre-AP course in English, in Math, in Geography, and in Science. I'll now turn it over to Mrs. Melanie Fatar to continue our presentation. Good evening, my name is Melanie Fatar, and I am the Department Head of Student Services at Christ the King. Alignment of AP with the Ontario Curriculum. The AP curriculum significantly builds on the Ontario Secondary School curriculum in the indicated subject areas. Students in AP prep courses, they complete either academic in grade 9 and 10 or university prep 11 and 12 curriculum with appropriate extensions. The courses in grades 9 to 12 are designed to prepare students to write the AP exams in grade 12. Students will be evaluated according to the Ministry's Assessment and Evaluation Policy documents. Students will be evaluated on the appropriate grade level curriculum expectations. Teachers of the AP preparation and AP courses uh, do attend additional AP training. The course mark as determined above will be multiplied by 1.05 to determine the mark that will be reported on the Provincial Report Card. Looking ahead to grade 12, AP exams are written in May. Uh, they are distributed by the College Board and administered by the school. Each AP exam mark is a weighted combination of the student's scores on both the multiple choice section as well as the open response section. Students have a choice whether or not they would like to submit their, res their results from the AP exam to their post-secondary destinations. Advanced Placement Credit Policies at Ontario Universities. Most universities have an AP policy and that policy will state the maximum number of university credits a student may earn through AP testing. Often that's two to three, but sometimes more, as well as the minimum score required to earn a university credit. Usually that's a score of four or a five out of five. These are some of the more recent AP exam scores from our board. These are some of the skill advantages that AP students have in the transition from high school to university. Pre-AP courses are designed to support students motivated and dedicated to their schoolwork who are looking for a challenging and rewarding program. 
In addition to curriculum from grade 9, the pre-AP program will be enriched with topics from subsequent grades as well as extension questions. As a result, one of the main differences between the pre-AP classroom and a regular academic or de-streamed classroom is the pace of the course. In order to be successful in pre-AP, students should have good learning skills and should be genuinely interested in the subject which they are studying. Students in pre-AP are typically self-directed learners who embrace challenges and look for opportunities to extend their knowledge of the subject matter. For example, a student in pre-AP math might be looking to write the University of Waterloo math contests. If you think that your son or daughter might be a good fit for this program, please consult his or her classroom teacher as they know your child best. Hello, my name is Kyla and I am a recent graduate of Assumptions Advanced Placement Program. I am currently a freshman at the University of Ottawa and I am double majoring in Political Science and Communications. And I'm glad to share with you how the Advanced Placement Program has impacted my transition to the University. It is undeniable that the AP program has benefited me greatly. To begin, as a result of AP, I have come into university with a skill set of how to take notes effectively, which is one of the largest struggles for post-secondary students, and I'm grateful to have this already. Also, as a result of achieving a 5 on my AP exam, I was able to not only bypass one university credit, I was able to bypass three. And as a result, I'm currently enrolled in three second year courses, which helps me fast track my major and explore additional courses that I find interesting with ease. Additionally, as a result of AP, I was able to be very competitive with scholarships. In fact, I was actually awarded six different scholarships, which allowed me to virtually slice the cost of living and studying at university in half. Advanced placement is a fantastic opportunity that I have no doubt prepared me to face my future head on, especially with this university. Hi everyone, my name is Owen Nowitzki and I'm currently studying Geomatics at the University of Waterloo. And the AP program has been so influential on my life. Throughout my time in high school, I took at least one AP class every year and have completed two AP tests. But for you guys sitting in the cafeteria, university is pretty far off. So I'm going to go way back to 2013, five years ago, where I was sitting right where you guys were right now, wondering if AP was for me. If my memory serves me correctly, I never had the highest averages in elementary school, but I put in work, I cared, and I think this is what matters the most in AP. So going into grade 9, I took my risk. I decided to take all the AP classes I could, math, science, English, and geography. This idea of taking AP was fairly stressful at the start of the year, but once I got into it, AP was where I was meant to be. The work was interesting, my classmates thought at the same levels as me, and the teachers pushed us to not only enjoy our, enjoy our time in class, but in high school as well. In grade 9, I joined the ski team as well as varsity lacrosse, and through both teams, I did not fall behind in my workload in AP, which I know is a huge fear for you guys. Then through grades 10 and 11, I kept up with as many AP courses as I could, even taking grade 12 AP Geography a year earlier than I should. And through these classes, I found more extracurriculars and teams that interested me, such as the Model United Nations team, which is a club that I highly recommend. But this tactic of taking all the AP classes isn't for everyone, and it certainly wasn't for me. But I kept with it because I wanted to keep my options open, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my future. But in grade, grade 11, I came to the realization that math and sciences weren't my strong suit. But this perfectly exemplifies what is amazing about the AP program. I was able to pick and choose what programs I wanted to take, and I was able to focus on programs that better interested me. And closer to grade 11, closer to the end of grade 11, I got an opportunity to speak with a university professor about what programs would interest me in, in university. He then led me to Geomatics, which is the program I'm currently in. To say as little as I can, AP has not only been super beneficial to my academic career, but has also been super influential on my life. AP has steered me on a path to success and given me valuable life lessons that have helped me in transitioning into the university learning environment. If you have any more questions, be sure to ask my sister Maeve 
or any of the ambassadors if you need anything. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the night. In addition to the countless academic benefits of the AP program, there are many scholarships that graduates of this program may be eligible for. Below is a list of some of the scholarships our students have applied for. For any current grade eight students hoping to enter into CTK's AP program in the fall, your application will be done fully online. The application cannot be saved and returned to, so please make sure that you're able to complete the application in one sitting. To help with the process, we've created the checklist below. The application can be found on CTK's website. With you, please have saved a copy of your child's final grade seven report card it should be scanned and saved to a PDF file, which will be emailed to one of the email addresses below upon completion of your application. Please also with the application include any other relevant information that the school should be aware of regarding your child. Once accepted into the program, you will need to pay an activity fee of $65. The application will be available from October 22nd to December 1st. The AP application deadline is December 1st. The admission will be based on two factors, the child's final grade seven report card, along with the grade seven learning skills indicated by the grade seven teacher. For any non Halton Catholic District School Board students, please note that you will also need to complete a registration with CTK, which can be found on the hcdsv.org website. We would like to take this opportunity to remind you of a few important dates. Following this evening's information session, December 1st will be the application deadline. Beginning February 1st, we will begin communicating the admission decision to families through the email provided in your application. This year, we will also have a secondary admission deadline of February 11th. This will be dependent on spaces available. The final decisions will be communicated to families by March 1st by email. In line with the board's transportation policy, students who are part of the AP program that reside within Christ the King's boundary lines will be provided transportation. If students reside outside of the boundary lines, they will need to arrange their own transportation. Please note they will not need to complete a cross boundary request. Any cross-boundary students who withdraw from the AP program will be directed to their home school. Cross-boundary siblings of AP students cannot unfortunately attend Christ the King unless they too are part of the AP program. These are some frequently asked questions students and parents often have regarding the AP program. Are there any fees associated with this program? There is no additional cost to parents other than the cost of writing the AP exam in grade 12. Each of those exams costs approximately $120 Canadian. Uh, how much homework can a student expect as part of the AP program? The short answer is that there is generally the same amount of homework for students in the AP program as there is for those in the academic program. How are AP exams different than regular high school exams? AP exams are held in May each year the dates, times, and exam content are determined by the AP College Board. Exams are marked externally by their own markers. How many students do you let into the program in grade nine? We receive many applications for the AP program. Each application is reviewed independently. We accept all students who meet the application criteria. Can I join the AP program in grade 10? There are limited spaces in grade 10. Applicants will be assessed on an individual basis with feedback from their grade nine teachers and the report card. I am an AP student from another AP school. Can I join your program in grade 12? Any applicant from another school will be assessed on an individual basis with feedback from their previous report card and through discussions with that student. What's the difference between the IB program and the AP program? Well, some of the differences are listed here. There are some similarities. Both offer an opportunity for advanced placement in university, but the AP program itself offers a lot more flexibility than the IB program. 
If I have any more questions, what is the best way to get in touch with the AP coordinator? The best way is through email. We will do our best to get back to you within 72 hours. Email addresses are listed on the website or also by phone. You can call Christ the King and ask for our Vice Principal or the Guidance Department. Also on our website is a link to a form where you can put in your questions there and somebody will be get back to you. How do you decide how students are admitted to the AP program? A committee reviews the applications and makes a determination. That decision is based on a combination of learning skills as well as marks. When is the deadline to submit applications? The application for grade nine is due by December 1st of this year. For additional information, please visit the College Board website for Canadian AP schools. This can be found at apcanada.collegeboard.org. There you will find a list of Canadian schools participating in the AP programs, data regarding the participation of students throughout Canada, research with respect to student achievement and AP, AP preparation and AP course outlines and resources, as well as AP exam descriptions. AP courses are recognized by 90% of post-secondary institutions in North America, as well as by over 600 universities in over 55 other countries around the world. If you have any further questions about the registration process or the AP program, so please submit your questions to the Grade 9 AP Application Questions link posted on CTK's website. A staff member will be in touch with you to assist. You can also reach out to Student Services at extension 2005 for assistance or to be directed to the appropriate contact. This presentation, along with the links that we shared, will be posted on our website for future reference. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope that this has been an informative presentation.